I'm Shannon Thresher and this is 30 Second Tactics. Well guys, uh, the honest truth is, I don't have a good topic for you today, so I just thought I'd tell you a couple quick stories. Um, I've been policing a long time, um, so I got a lot of cop stories. Some of them are funny, some of them are, are serious, some of them, of course, if you've been in law enforcement a while, you know we got some tragic stories. I'm not here to bring you guys down, I'm not going to tell you some any tragic stories. I'll tell you just a couple quick stories. Um, it's a little different for the for the channel. If you guys like this, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll do some more of these. If I bore you to tears, let me know and I'll never do another one like it. So uh, first one real quick, uh, and all my stories start years ago, because I've been at this so long. So years ago, we stopped this guy uh, in the projects and he had a little weed on him and we're gonna cite him out, you know, write him a misdemeanor site and send him on his way. So uh, we've already detained him, he's handcuffed and everything. Well. We get to the point where we decided we're not going to take him to jail. We're just going to cite him out. So uh, I lean over and I tell the guy, hey, uh, I'm going to take off one of these handcuffs so you can sign this ticket. So uh, which handcuff do you want me to take off? You know, meaning are you right or left-handed? And uh, without a beat, this guy, this, you know, hardcore little gangster type dude from the ghetto uh, looks up at me and says, it don't matter. I'm amphibious, which uh, that tickled me. Uh, another story kind of like that. Uh, same thing, we we got dealing with this guy in the projects, and uh, I don't remember, it's been years ago, I don't remember why we contacted him, but I said, hey, do uh, you have any ID? And without skipping a beat, he looked right at me and he said, ID about what? So I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, another quick one, uh, me and my partner roll up on a commercial burglary, right as we're pulling up, there's a guy walking out from the back of the building, um, so obviously, you know, good suspect, somebody we need to stop and talk to. So uh, this is in LA back in the hardcore days where everybody got guns pointed at him. So I'm in the passenger seat, my partner pulls up and uh, he's in the driver's seat and he pulls up and he grabs his gun out of his holster and points it at him. He carried a Breda back then and uh, starts yelling commands at the guy and the guy basically ignores him like he ain't even there. Well, it takes me a couple seconds to get out on the driver, you know, on the passenger side and run around to the driver's side. When I get out, I, I pull out my, uh, Sorry, radio, I'm on my break. I'm not uh, taking taxpayer money. Uh, I break out my gun, which is a 1911-45, and I start issuing the same commands. And all of a sudden, the guys listen to me like it's the word of God coming down from the heavens. And uh, turns out the guy wasn't uh, the burglar. He's just some guy that happened to be walking through the neighborhood. And I asked him before we cut him loose, you know, how come you didn't listen to the thing my partner said? He was pointing a gun at you. And then all of a sudden, I get out, and the guy looks at me like, Man, you pulled out that faux five. I was looking at that barrel. I looked like I'd lose my car keys down that barrel. And uh, I just thought that was funny uh, that that the the man on the street knew the difference way back then between a nine millimeter and a forty five. And the, that expression, if I could lose my car keys down that barrel, has stuck with me for years. So, anyways, guys, like I said, that's a couple cute little stories. I hope you find them as funny as I did over the years. Um, those have stuck with me. Uh, like I said, if you like this. Let me know, and if you don't, let me know, and I'll either do some more or I'll never do them again. So as always, guys, work, train, repeat. Stay safe.